Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 13, writing division expressions. And our first example we have here says to write an expression showing one divided by two without the use of the division symbol. Okay, well, we can't just do that. That is not one divided by two, that is 12. So that's not what they mean. So let's try, oh, a model. Let's try drawing a model. So we have this one rectangle. So that is one. That represents the number one. We're going to divide it into two pieces. So therefore, each piece is one half. OK? So what can we determine from this model? Well, we can de determine that one divided by 2 is the same as one over 2 which we commonly call one half example 2 write an expression showing a divided by 2 without the use of a division symbol okay so how about we have a rectangle and the whole thing is a we cut it into two pieces so this piece here would be a over two so a divided by two is the same as a over two when we write division expressions using the division symbol, we represent a dividend divided by the divisor. Okay, it says how would this look when we write division expressions using fractions? It's just the top word, the first word on top. Dividend divided by divisor. Okay. Dividend divided by divisor. Try to fancy this up a little bit. So it's the dividend divided by divisor. All right, example three. Write an expression showing A divided B without the use of a division symbol. Okay? That is simply A over B. Write an expression for G divided by the quantity H plus three. So it's G divided by the quantity h plus 3. When we say the quantity, we mean the whole thing. I could write it like this, or it'd be okay if we recognize a quantity as being in parentheses. So if I do h plus 3 in parentheses, that's the same as h plus 3 without the parentheses in this case. Okay, write an expression for the quotient. Quotient is an answer to a division problem of the quantity m reduced by 3 and 5. Okay, so you have to be careful how to read this. Write an expression for the quotient of the quantity m reduced by 3. So that's m reduced by 3. And the word quotient means to divide. The word and tells us where to put that symbol. So it's going to be m reduced by 3 divided by Okay, be careful with the word. Now we have an exercise here. Write each expression two ways using the division symbol and as a fraction. Take time to do these. I'll pause the video. Come back when you are done. Okay, hopefully you uh, were able to do all these correctly. Let's take a look and see if you did. So we're going to, I'll just go down through and do the division symbol the first time. So this would be 12 divided by 4. 3 divided by 5. A 
divided by 4, the quotient of 6, and 10. Quotient means divide. Word and right there says to do 6 divided by is where the and is, where the number is, where the symbol goes. And then 7 divided by 7 divided by the quantity x plus y. 7 divided by x plus y. Okay. y divided by y divided by the quantity x minus 11. The sum of the quantity h and 3. Sum means plus. Word and tells you where to put it. The sum of the quantity h and 3. All right. So where was I? It erased two more than I wanted it to. The sum of the quantity h and 3. So sum is plus. Sum is plus. And it goes where the word and is. H plus 3 quantity divided by. Let me stop right here and talk about what just happened in these two problems. In this problem here, if I did not do the parentheses, then our order of operations, PEMDAS or GEMDAS, if you will, would tell us to divide first. So it would be H, and then the 3 divided by 4 would be done first, then we would add H to that. In this case, parentheses don't matter because we're going to divide first and then we're going to take x minus 11. So if we didn't have parentheses, it would be y divided by x minus 11. And in this case, it would be x minus 11 first because of the grouping, PEMDAS or the G, GEMDAS, that's done first, and then y divided by that value if we can put x. So yes, the parentheses are necessary. Okay, so now H, the quotient of the quantity K, the quotient division symbol of the quantity K minus 10, and there's my and symbol. So that word and, to put the symbol where the word and is, the quotient of the quantity K minus 10, quantity K minus 10, and M. Okay, now I'm going to go back, and I will do all of these with a division bar instead of symbol, or a fraction, if you will. So this would be 12 over 4. This would be 3 over 5. The first number is your divisor. Your bottom number is your dividend. I'm sorry, I said that backwards. <laughs> the dividend and your divisor. Divisor is what you're dividing by. My apologies. And then the a divided by 4 would be A over 4. Dividend divided by divisor. And then the quotient of 6 and M would be 6 over M. This would be 7 over X plus Y. And when we get to this point here, it's not really necessary to do the parentheses because the fraction is over the whole thing. But if you want to put that there still, that's fine as well. And then finally, y over x minus 11. Again, not necessary with the parentheses. And then here we have h plus 3. And then the bar over the whole thing, under the whole thing, and then over 4. Again, parentheses are okay, but not necessary. And then k minus 10 over and with or without parentheses. So parentheses matter in this format, but not in this, because our bar tells us what's grouped by how long the bar is. Everything on top is the group for the quantity. Okay, that was a real quick lesson. That's the end of lesson three. Computer problem set.